Dude. Right off our front porch. What does it have coming off of its head? It's like a nodule. Ew. So we're right here. And we want to get to Smooth Water Outfitters, which is right over here. We're entering the wildlands now, and it looks like we're having some seriously tough days for the next few days. We have eight portages to do today, one of them being a 1300, and it's literally all bushwhacking pretty much all day, I think. There's small lakes here, and that's about it. And then the next day, we have a 1250. That's apparently extremely challenging, let alone six other portages. We get our way into Anima Nipissing, where we have to crush some serious distance to get into Mountain Lake, which will apparently then take a day and a half. And this route right here has not been done apparently in eight to 10 years. This is gonna be a huge variable in our entire route here. So we thought the first part of the trip was gonna to be tough. This is gonna be a serious bitch. Screw filming, man. Just get your line back in there. Yo, can you set the GoPro up anywhere? Look at this school of... We found a school of bass that's just following us. I've never seen fishing like this before. That's a fat one. Turkey. Oh. Look at that. Oh my God. What? <laughs> we did one cast and Alex caught a fish and then as he was pulling in the bass there's about 20 following it and then they just sat around the boat so we've just been dropping our line and catching guys like this like every minute it's insane I've never seen bass fishing like this before. getting thinner and thinner. Hi man. I think it's I need to start lifting the packs out. Okay, so carp more right there. So there is no, there's no portage in sight. And that we're about to bushwhack. <clears throat> yeah, this is the right way, bro. So making our way from Carpmore, Carpmore Lake, it's proving to be a little bit more difficult than we thought. You know, we got so distracted by the bass fishing that we had over there that we didn't even think to get here in better time. So we're definitely behind schedule, I would say. I think this is the part that they say resembles Tomogamy 30 years ago. 
It's crazy to think about all the nice portages that have been made in 30 years. We're just trying to make a decent one on our nine day trip. Proving to be a real treat. The river stream breaks off into two directions here and we need to take the left route. Yeah, I'm gonna get out. We just came from back there all the way up this way to where we are now. We just went through another unmarked portage. Uh, might have been about 60 meters connecting our marshy tributary to what's the name of this lake? Nicole. Nicole? Nicole Lake. And this is the lake that has our 1300 meter portage. Coming at you live from a swamp in the muskeg. A couple dudes, a couple dudes looking for adventure. Or oh, we're just stubborn. I am thirsty though. So we just arrived at the 1300 meter portage. It's about six o'clock and we're just so happy that this one's actually marked. It's like a good sign right off the bat. We have no idea what condition the portage was in, but the fact that it's marked is like, got us grinning ear to ear. It's marked. <laughs> it's marked. It's marked boys and girls, <laughs> yeah baby. <laughs> so a quick update for you guys. The first one we saw with the flagging tape brought us to a swamp, that wasn't it. Uh, we found a hole in, this, in the woods and then we followed it and it turned out to be it. We started flagging it on our way back it's definitely 1,300 meters. It took about 40, 40 minutes one way, but it's probably about 8.30 right now at night, and we still need to go back with our final load. There you go. There you go! So we made it to camp. Uh, we finished the portage at around 9. It is 9.30 now. We're gonna set up camp, have some dinner, and then probably pass out. We have a big day tomorrow.